the, the iron link component of the crust is something that's very real, but it doesn't look like it's everything. It looks like there's a detailed brown effect, which is an asymmetrical capacitance. Now again, there is a high voltage between the corona wire and the foil that sets out the capacitance between the two. And since the foil is wider on top than the wire, it's asymmetrical capacitance. Uh, there are a number of different effects going on, but the idea is that this asymmetrical capacitance is really a type of field effect propulsion. Uh, the term that's been used is pulling itself up by the bootstraps. And conventional science doesn't like that. It violates Newton's laws, and it's questionable even in relativity. So we're looking at something that falls outside of known science. And, and that's been a really big debate. Uh, is this just iron wind, or is it something more? And in solving this debate, it's taken us to that next step to say the lifters are valuable, but they're part of a much larger genre of technology. And that genre of technology isn't subject to debate. It's something so much larger, more massive, that when it takes off, no one will question whether or not it's iron wind. Uh, again, American Anti-Gravity became a nonprofit to build the infrastructure, to build the community, to investigate these effects. And we've been working with the government, aerospace companies, and the state conference to try and help these inventors, scientists, and engineers make their dreams into reality. 